Dr Chris is back with his take on the latest health headlines. Good morning to you. And we're going to start off with oily fish and the effect it can have on the menopause. Uh, yeah. D d delay the onset of your menopause by three years. It's right. A, the, it's, the, it's a landmark study, the first study linking food to menopause onset. Uh, and they found that they studied 14,000 women uh, and, and they found that uh, a diet that included a high intake of oily fish. So it's like salmon. And tuna, salmon, tuna. mackerel, herring, salmon sardines, pilchards, right, was extremely beneficial, plus also uh, a good intake of pulses, peas, beans, chickpeas, soya beans, lentils, uh, also had this uh, summative, uh, cumulative effect. Mm. And also they found that the opposite, that if you had a, 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 a high intake of carbs, white bread, white pasta, rice, that brought the menopause on oh, earlier yeah, by right. about 18 months. Wow. So, you know, if you want to delay that menopause coming on with the sweats yeah. and the, you know. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago that we were told don't eat too much oily fish because of the mercury. Well, yeah, I, I wouldn't be... I mean, yeah, it is a valid argument, but, I mean, you know, where do you draw the line in these situations? I, I eat plenty of oily fish as much as I can. Uh, and, and the fruit and the veg, you know, I mean, and the, of course they're stressing the pulses and the beans, yeah. which is which is very very interesting. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I mean, we've known for years the benefits of oily fish on joints, yeah, and heart disease, etc. So yeah, we need the oily 